Hello, welcome to Planning with Alo. I'm so glad that you are here. Um, go ahead and get comfortable. This is going to be sort of a long video. I made myself a little cup of coffee. Um, I'm going to be doing a journal with me. Uh, very short journaling though, but it was mostly like a creative spill, trying to get stuff out of my system sort of thing going on. And I was in a very like dark vibe everything so yeah i'm just pulling out my journal here and getting stuff ready that i'm planning to use for my spread i had sort of already organized it beforehand but i'm just making sure i have everything here so i printed out some images that i found on pinterest as well because i wanted to use them so i got these roses and the tarot cards are for the moon and the sun um and then this is a wax seal that i recently got from mindful hookup on instagram and i believe that is her shop name but i'll be linking the shops as always down in the description bar so i'm balling up this piece of paper from happy mail that i got so i could just recycle and then i'm gonna paint it uh, black I really wanted to add a lot of texture to this spread. I wanted to kind of cover it all and make it look sort of like bulky, I guess, in a way. Um, so yeah, I'll just leave you guys to watch me paint this beautiful black thing. Once I'm done painting one side of the envelope, I'm going to leave it to the side so it can start drying. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started positioning all of the images and whatnot to see how I'm going to want them to look and pull together. Um, if you notice, the middle page, I folded it because I don't have much space in this journal. Um, but I'm not gonna leave it because of that. So I go ahead and fold the middle pages to use up a little bit more space or half more space. Um, and the image that I put in the middle of the girl being pushed down to the hole is actually or was actually taken from an old book that I recently got at the thrift store. I, I went on a hunt for stuff or for supplies for journaling and planning and I was lucky enough to find a couple of treasures but yeah at the end I actually decide I don't want to um, have the image in the middle and I also didn't like how the girl's green shirt stood out so much so I decided to color it in black so it could match the spread a little bit better So you can still see a little bit of the green color peeking out it was fine um, so here I'm just gonna cut the envelope that's already dried off or almost dried off and then I'm gonna ball it up once again because I want to add more wrinkle texture to it It was almost the perfect fit for the entire page, but I needed some more to put on the other side. So that's why you see me ripping it off here with my ruler so I could get a sort of a straight line. So here I'm just gonna keep on playing with the images until I liked the finished look. And then I ended up not wanting to put the girl, like I mentioned before, in the middle because I wanted a hot wax in there and then i also wanted to really use or get a good use out of the envelope i liked how it contrasted against the black so i just ended up using this really cool 12 healing crystal reference sheet and then folding it in half to put it in the envelope Once I'm satisfied with everything is when I will start 
gluing everything down I really need to get some double-sided tape because the glue gets kind of messy even though it might be a little cheaper or I don't know maybe I'll just get the like transparent kind but yeah so I did end up using the girl falling down I just decided to put her in the back middle portion flap thing but yeah I love how versatile and adaptable creating my own journal entries can be. Um, if you watched my previous creative spill journal with me video, um, there's an obvious difference and I feel like that's just really cool to do and to be able to give you guys or give the viewer um, the many sides to my personality is pretty damn awesome. And not only that, but also the fact that I can flip through this journal and then get to see the different feelings that I was processing during this month or this day or whatever. Um, that's also pretty cool. I recently got some incense and I'm burning one um, in this video to the right side and it smells so freaking good. It's called Orange Blossom and it gives a very calming sensation, the smell I mean. Um, and then I also have my little smoky quartz to the top left side so that I can keep myself very grounded through the feelings that I was having. So I wrote a very short and in Spanish paragraph in the middle part of the spread um, just to sort of help me through whatever I was going through or thinking about at the moment. Um, but this is not only a creative outlet, it's also to put my feelings down on paper as I've mentioned before. And it's fine if you have one thing to say or a million things to say as long as you sit there with yourself and think about what's you know what's going through your head and whatever you're feeling inside um i think that that's just a good thing to do like to just sit with yourself and really think to yourself and talk to yourself okay so this is what i'm feeling this is what i want to do this is not what i want to do um how am i going to go on about it and um etc so i feel like the journaling part of all of this is what really helps me and then it's just a plus that I can do it in such a creative way so you just saw me stick the 12 healing crystal little note in the envelope and then I'm also just gonna finish up the second and middle page I've been thinking of creating a separate Instagram dedicated to my journaling stuff, but since I do already have Planning with Alo, which is a planner dedicated Instagram feed, um, and I do follow like a color scheme and I like to have a theme going on, I thought it would be a little bit too much to keep up with and I do not want to add that to myself at the moment. So I ended up just creating a saved highlight to my already existing feed and then that way I could just share my journaling stuff on there. So if you're interested and want to see more, my IG handle is going to be down in the description bar. So here's a quick view of everything I've done so far. I loved how this spread turned out. Here's the little pocket and what's inside. And then I'm just looking around to see if there's any white spaces that I still want to fill out and just the little details that I want to put here and there.
the scrap of a really nice notepad that I have or have had for a while that has some really pretty lettering at the top that says notes and then I just decided to put that on the envelope. Here I'm just using a little scrap of matte black doily that I had laying around and then I had these really pretty leaves that I picked up the other day and I really wanted to use them but I didn't have any more space. So on to the really fun part of this journal with me. I had so much freaking fun doing this and it was using for the first time ever a wax seal with a little wax stick that I had to burn like a candle um, so it was my first time and I was so proud of myself because the first one came out so cool even though I had to like attempt the burning a couple of times the way that it just glides off is just much better than the glue gun type so I am definitely going to be purchasing more colors of this little wax sticks So you can see that it kept on um, burning out on me, but I got the hang of it at some point. And then while I was doing this, I also got the idea or remembered about, um, I've seen on Instagram people that do these wax seals things that um, they use like a little metallic ink that they finish up at the top of the seal once it's done and dried off that kind of like shines so i brought out a eyeshadow palette that i had laying around and they're like really um pigmented metallic eyeshadows so it worked like a charm it worked pretty cool and then i did it three other times because it was just so fun to do this So obviously the first two that I tried came out way better than the last two but that's only because I used a little bit more wax on the ones up, up top so keep that in mind if you're doing wax. Um, I didn't want to do it directly on the envelope in case it messed up which is why I did it on the separate piece of paper and then I just ripped out the wax and glued it on the space that I wanted it to go on. So it's mid-April and this journal is getting so chunky. I thought it was going to last me the whole 12 months of 2019, but I'm thinking it's only going to run me through July, which is fine. Um, I do feel that I'm going to keep on doing this as much as possible. But yeah, here I'm just switching out the clips because I thought that the rose gold matched better with the seal rather than the gold one that I had and then I'm just adding some more finishing touches to the spread. I also added touches of washi tape later on here and there just for a little bit of more texture and color to the spread and then I also added a second seal on the second page. Here I was picking out my writing utensils which you will see me use later but I ended up going with the Uniball Air and a white jelly roll. Both of these were purchased at Michael's a while back ago. Also drew in some white stars in the black background just for like splashes of color and that's pretty much it here is the whole spread um, so thank you so much for watching um, please don't forget to like comment or subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys on my next one bye